Hi guys, Viper Elite here. First of all, I'll just say this picture looks very blurry in the editor. I don't know what's gone wrong. Maybe on uh, YouTube it will be a bit better. But anyway, this video is about the new achievements in uh, the new map pack zombies map called Moon. So if we kick straight into it, I'll text up the words for you. First one, cryogenic slumber party. So its description is in Moon complete Richtofen's grand scheme. And uh, thanks to Halo Wars using Professor Anders' cryobomb, I sort of know what cryogenics is about. And basically putting someone into a cryo chamber means that they freeze and they can sleep for ages. I don't think they're invented yet, or they may be, but who cares. So cryogenics is about freezing stuff to like sub-zero te uh, yeah, like almost the coldest it can get uh, really quickly. So basically what Richtofen's probably planning to do is as if he's been plotting something because it's his grand scheme it's maybe to freeze something maybe all the zombies or maybe the earth this leads me to believe that uh, Richtofen's obviously been planning something for quite a long while on the moon and um, why the moon? because it's one of the most discreet places he could possibly access unless he wants a four year trip to Mars but um, anyway he, I don't know what he'd probably want to freeze maybe it'd be the earth like I just said this is probably because he wants world domination, a bit like Bungie, but uh, anyway, if he was, he could launch missiles from there, he's probably mining stuff underground, because maybe he needs 115 to help somehow with his project. But I'll do another uh, video about the easter egg later on. One small hack for man is uh, the next achievement is 5G, so it will most likely be quite uh, easy to get and maybe quite obvious. But uh, in the moon, hack something. Don't know what this is, quite obviously, I don't know, as I always say in every video. But anyway, maybe it's uh, the diggers or something which are on the planet. I'm not talking about your old JCB900 diggers. We're talking about those uh, massive ones which have 36 buckets on them. Uh, however many buckets they have, but anyway, yeah, maybe it's that, maybe it's landers or something on there, or maybe you can control the whole system and possibly turn gravity on and off, providing you're in allocated parts of the building, and to do that you'd most likely need the power on, because you can't exactly hack a computer if it's not on. One giant leap is 5G, once again probably quite an easiest and obvious one, in Moon come trapped in the receiving area and free yourself through resurrection in co-op. Hang on a second. Resurrection. Well, you all know the map pack's called Resurrection. So maybe that has something to do with it. But basically, trapped in a receiving area, putting it together with one giant leap suggests that these uh, anti gravity massive jump pads are probably one direction. And then maybe, well, quite obviously, something has trapped you so you can't continue. I I think that maybe uh, the power switch can be turned on and off, which supports what I was saying earlier about gravity being able to be turned on and off. And maybe that sort of closes some doors. You know, we saw some blast blast doors uh, from an earlier video I made, which sort of can kill zombies. So maybe you get stuck in the receiver end, and then you need someone to turn on the power or activate backup power to open the doors again, so you can get out safely. Or else you'd just be stuck in the receiver end. Or else another thought is that there's been a lot of speculation about being able to teleport to Area 51. Lots of people have been shouting out that uh, Area 51 was that map, I don't know, I didn't get it. But that map was in multiplayer. But uh, some people are saying how you could be able to teleport back, which in one of the previous videos I show you a picture of some kind of epic teleporter device which could be used for long range teleportation, e.g. moon to earth. So maybe you can uh, sort of get teleported to Area 51 in an area of it where the packer punches and then uh, you could get stuck in a receiver end, e.g. Area 51 and then uh, you'd need someone to give you an awesome boost of power to push you through one giant leap all the way back to the moon. I'm going to link these two uh, achievements together. First one is Perks in Space, which is 30G and it's in moon purchase every perk in one game. The second is fully armed and operational, which is in Moon acquire three pack of punched weapons at the same time. Uh, nothing there, oh wait a second, it's uh, three pack of punched weapons. Now we all saw that little image of the overkill, I'll flash a picture of it up now. Wow. To be more precise it is like triple kill because it's just confirmed there that you can have three weapons, that's the most likely source of that. And uh, anyway, in moon purchase every perk in the game is worth 30g, and uh, using points shouldn't really be worth 30g, so it's going to be like in the old uh, 
uh, maps. There we go, that's what I was looking for. It's going to be like in the old maps where uh, you probably have to kill something for an extra perk. Maybe it's the boss, the Cosmic Silverback, or maybe it's something else like more monkeys. The Cosmic Silverback, right now, enough of the obsession with him. He's probably going to be in this, but uh, you'll probably have to kill him for uh, more perks to get every time, which is why it's quite a high G count. One which I talked about previously as well, fully armed and operational in map, acquire three pack of punch weapons at the same time. I'm just hoping that I don't have to explain that to someone, because if I do, you crap. The final achievement is ground control to Major Tom, which uh, I don't even know if that's the name of the song, and I don't even know if that's how you sing it. But in moon prevent each excavator from breaching the base in one game. And we all know those big digger things. Yes, they're called excavators now. I forgot. I'm sorry. Anyway, bo 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 there you go. You can see here that they seem to dig large chunks out of the ground. The thing is, though, those things have wheels or tracks, whatever you want. That means they can roll, but unfortunately they're on a flat surface. They're going to need power to move. That means either a pimp or a computer's driving them. I'm going with the computer because uh, I'm not sure. It just seems right. But anyway. Um, these things will probably crawl across the landscape until they hit the base where they'll shred it up like a Chewbacca with a toy teddy bear. Yes, he doesn't like that teddy bear very much. Anyway, when these things do shred up the base, they might change the layout of the whole map. But uh, also, I think there are two of them, so you've not just got one on your hands. Because as you see in the very middle of the picture at the back, there seems like there's another one. Anyway, going back to the achievement at the start, where you have to hack something, I did not forget the words there, that is what it says. Maybe you uh, have to hack these big excavators to uh, get them to stop shredding the base, and that's how you get that achievement. That could be why it's only 5G, because uh, you get it while you're getting another achievement, so, uh, you know, Trout don't want to be too kind. Don't want to be losing money, if you know what I mean. That just about wraps it up for this video, so uh, be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, favourite, all that crap. Hey you guys, please subscribe, gay face. Yes, so I will be bringing out more videos like this one. Don't know if I'll be doing any more on the achievements. If I do think of anything, I will, don't worry. Well, actually I may not, because it'll be a bit too late then. But anyway, yeah, just be bringing out a couple more videos about random crap on the map. Any more information's released, you know. So uh, hit that yellow button for more. Thank you, love you all. Thanks for 300 subscribers, guys. Thank you.